In this video, I'll be talking about benzo as an intravenous anesthetic. So it's, this is just a continuation of our intravenous anesthetic um, series of videos. So the so the one of the most common benzodiazepine which is used as an anesthetic would be midazolam. Midazolam is commonly used for endoscopy, and midazolam is also used in adjunct with gaseous anesthetic and narcotics. So midazolam is used for endoscopy. It's used adjunctively with gaseous anesthetics and narcotics. It's used together. So what are some of the side effects of using benzo as an anesthetic? I will not take a, talk about the side effects of benzo used in general. I will only talk about the side effects of benzo as an anesthetic. Well, it causes severe post-operative respiratory depression. Okay, so what are the some of the other effects? It is really going to decrease blood pressure and cause amnesia. Now the question is, how does benzo cause decreased blood pressure? How does it cause respiratory depression? How does it do these things? It does it by decreasing norepinephrine decreasing serotonin, decreasing acetylcholine, okay, it decreases all these neurotransmitters and also decreasing dopamine. When all this neurotransmitter is decreased due to the GABA action, there is a decreased effect or depression of everything in the body. There's going to be respiratory depression, there's going to be low blood pressure because of decreased norepinephrine because we all know that norepinephrine has alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1 and beta-2 and if alpha-1 are stimulated we're going to have vasoconstriction. So that's how by decreasing all these neurotransmitters in the body it's going to decrease blood pressure, it's going to cause amnesia, it's going to cause respiratory, severe post-operative respiratory depression.